come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> To the oh. Saturday Night Freak Show. Oh, that's podcast. like Collins. Yeah. Colin. That's like it's like Light <laughs> FM Collins. Like, well, yeah. That's right. <laughs> this is a uh, it's a smooth jazz station, an adventure show, where Come every week <laughs> a group of uh, cinema archaeologists oh. venture oh, I like that. off yeah. the beaten path, dig shit up, and decide whether it's <laughs> bone or shit, <laughs> a relic, a worthwhile relic. Yes. We go hunting for this shit. stuff so you don't have to, kind <laughs> listener. Mm. Yes. Uh, every Saturday we do this. So uh, put a new episode up on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Podcast Addict, wherever you find fine podcasts. That's where you find us. Because why not? We're fine people. Who I'm are these the internet room. radio superstars? <laughs> Holly, Michaela, Sean. And I'm Colin. And you can get a hold of us, please. Right in on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show for the time of your life. This hmm. week's Cinema Relic was discovered <laughs> <Indeed>. by... <laughs> Sean! <laughs> Sean, what did <laughs> what'd you dig up this week? Uh, I dug up a movie called Kathy's Curse from 1977. Who uh, who brought this movie to us? Well, uh, it comes from uh, Brian Collins, who is a writer. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him. He's a writer yeah. for Horror Movie a Day for like yeah. five years total, um, which equaled to about 2,000 movies, I think. Uh, he watched a horror movie every day and then wrote about it. He's got mm-hmm. a book out about it and everything. He also writes for Birth Movies Death. Um, he's in uh, writes on the internet all over the place. Um, he's the one who discovered this movie. Oh, um, okay. I thought you were going to say he wrote it. I no, was like, no, no. what? He discovered it. <laughs> um, and I asked him quickly on Twitter while we were watching tonight, um, cause I missed how he came about it. And he says it was from, uh, just a random pick from a chilling classics 50 movie pack from Mill Creek. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. That, that explains, explains a lot. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> he just happened to cross it. Uh huh. And uh, that's how he found it. And then his other part of his response to me was, now let's discuss people doing Kathy's Curse podcasts without me. What the hell is this? <laughs> uh, he's welcome to come on our podcast. That's yeah. what I told him. I said, quick fly to Rockford. We'll get you in. <laughs> yeah. But he discovered this movie. This and, is uh, the internet age, man. We yeah. can Skype him in. Why, mm-hmm. we, 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 we really can. Could. So he already yeah. did it on several times. I, his... I, he's He's gone on and said that uh, anybody doing a podcast on Kathy's Curse, call me. I'll do it. Oh. <laughs> Well, I guess we missed that. Damn, uh, bullshit. Yeah, I guess we did. Um, but he found it there, and ever since he watched it, he's been championing this movie. So much so that he's pretty much the reason why Severn Films uh, released a Blu-ray of this movie. Mm. I believe he's on it. He might even have a commentary on it. Oh, wow. He's a big fan of this movie. He I talks about it all that, the time. I hope to have that kind of power someday. Right? To, like, <laughs> me just talking about a movie a lot gets it a Blu-ray release. Yeah, well, it can be done, apparently. <laughs> Well, this is one I've seen a lot of movies in my time, and <clears throat> the movies that I haven't seen, I've heard of. And this one is one of those that, like, I mean, I think I've heard the title, and I think when you mentioned it last week, I'm like, it's about a little girl and a killer doll. I mean, like, I don't, yeah, in the I don't know where that's yes. yeah. <clears throat> So somehow it has like crossed. I know nothing about this fucking movie. So we're leaving it on Sean to tell us uh, some historical factoids about the movie that we watched this evening. Oh, Colin, you're not going to get them. <laughs> uh, I did minimal research and could not find really There's any not. Well, this makes it even better because we can make this shit we up. We can then. make I it mean, up. Who yeah. knows? I mean, we can try to psychologically all, all do a profile. All week I kept calling this Kathy's Clown, which is an Everly Brothers song. <laughs> no. So I know nothing. I, nothing. Like, I, got, I had a weird moment of like, did I hear that right? Because like the title was like, that sounds like a fucking Lifetime movie. It mm. does. Like, I was like, it does. And, I was like it and then I went through this whole thing. Is Sean breaking the rules? Is he picking like a made for TV movie and we just don't know it. And mm-hmm. then I was like, man, what are we going to be fucking watching? I was like, if he, cause if he is, man, do I have some gems to break? Right. Yeah. Yeah. If he's breaking this role, how can I break it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I, I wish I knew more. And, and maybe there is more information on that Blu-ray that just got released. Mm. Um, because I don't, I don't well, we saw it on Amazon prime, which is the, the Severin, uh, HD version. Yes. Of Kathy's curse. So you can follow along at home, whether you should or not, I guess, uh, 
you stick around to the end of the show and uh, and we'll let you know what we thought of it. Or you should go out and find that uh, original DVD release, <laughs> which is oh god, it's horrible. It's like someone shot the a shitty version of the film on like a VHS camera and then trans. Ported it to DVD. Did you see yeah. this? Oh, no. I, I've, it's, I think it's on YouTube somewhere. Okay. I've seen bits of it because I didn't want to watch the movie because yeah. I didn't want to ruin it for tonight. But holy shit, is it horrible. This, oh, yeah. is, this is magnificent. It's probably the taped we saw off of so uh, The Late Show or something Maybe. like that, right? Which is, ha- has to be where this movie lived. Yeah. yeah. You know? Um, it comes to us from, what did you say, 1977? 1977. So clearly, whoever saw this or made this movie saw a movie called The Exorcist. And The Omen. And The Bad Seed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is from that subgenre of film known as... Uh, yeah. Yeah. We don't, yeah. Yeah. We don't want kids. Yeah. Ever, yeah. Don't entertain the idea of ever having a child. Because that's not basically... A big house. Blonde girls are dangerous. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, this comes to us from the wilds of Canada. Mm-hmm. It's Canadian, <laughs> the Canadian tundra. <laughs> as it appears. Right, we're saying like, I mean, they do actually go into the city at some point, but like, I don't know, like, uh, Canadian folks are going to have to help me out. Like, I've seen movies that take place in Montreal. Mm-hmm. I've seen movies that take place in Toronto and Vancouver, obviously, which they use the double for you know New York and it's yeah. like, everything. But yeah. Everything, Van- yeah, everything. It's like. It's the most boring, uh, like architecture, like in the entire world, as far as I just based on the films that I've seen. That's why it can be anything. It's like a big, they just use big slabs of concrete, put window, windows in them. Like, look at this square. Look at this taller square rectangle. <laughs> there, I mean, there's, there's got to be, there's got to be scenery that we're not seeing because it's too much sure. of a recognizable building, well, you like, know, like the, okay, what's a recognizable. No, there's that movie. Is it Angel Eyes with Jennifer um, Lopez? Lopez? Yeah, the, it's supposed to be in New York, and I think they shot it in Toronto. And like, they got called out big time because like they show the skyline a lot, and Toronto is a very significant like spire yeah. type oh, tower. Yeah, yeah. 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 that yeah. is okay. like, yeah, 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 yeah. and people were like, you, like this movie is literally about being like a cop in New York and or something. <laughs> exactly, it, which is why it's obviously like, Toronto. That's yeah. why they're going to pick the areas with concrete buildings. Yeah, so, like yeah. you can't give anything like too specific. I think yeah. Angel Eyes had to fall on yeah. its sword for that so that others could learn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you didn't. Yeah. Don't uh, shoot more than fifteen feet up into the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Rumble in the Bronx, I think, got in trouble because it was like, here, it's New York. Yeah. And the amazing majestic mountains in the background. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Rumble in the Bronx. Yeah, that one's really bad. You've never been up Manhattan Mountain? Uh, it's, gorgeous. it's gorgeous up there. Big ski town at Manhattan. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's this movie uh, set us up for this? What's what, what's going on in this movie? Well, it and it's or it starts like uh, a lot of movies we watch down here. Where um, down mean, here, down here in the basement, in the basement. or down oh, in down North well, down America, here in, down here in America, <laughs> in the United uh, States, in the pits of America, <laughs> in the Great White South. Um, it's it, it, but after the well, there's an incident in the beginning of the movie, but it starts like many of those movies where a family comes to a new home. Or a home that's been in the family. Well, that's you, you got to tell us what that, you set up. Yeah. Well, that, it started well, with the car cold open. <laughs> Before that, uh, a man rushes home to his house, flings the door open, runs upstairs to find his daughter in bed crying. He's like, where is your mother and your father? It's like, and she goes, they left us. Like, stupid bitch. She'll pay for what she's done. Yeah. <laughs> and then him and his mustache grab the girl and run away. Yeah. And then they get in a car and they're speeding out of there. And uh, uh, what, a rabbit crosses the a road? Rabbit. Yep, because yeah. that must be, we have squirrels here. They got geckos like down in Florida. They have rabbits <laughs> running. They have rabbit. in Florida. They have in- gators in Florida. <laughs> gators cross the street. Oh, well, this you don't is have rabbits? Awesome. I have tons of rabbits in my yard. Well, as do I. This yeah. is a nice yeah. uh, fluffy white rabbit, though. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Fluffy rabbit. That's a, the Canadian white rabbit. You're making things yeah, up. It might be. The Canadian well, white rabbit. Where we it's at probably snowshoe hair. Tundra rabbit. <laughs> the Tundra rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's probably the mascot of like a high school fair. The Tundra rabbits. <laughs> Fighting Tundra rabbits. Yep. But it runs yeah. in front of the car. Do you think that Canada is like the Arctic? Like <laughs> Basically, yes. Oh, yeah. Snow all the time. There's just Siberia. Shitty, just gray, then shitty. there's the yeah, Great White North the sun, of Canada. Right? Like, no, you don't yeah, ever see the sun, right? No. So We're sorry. <laughs> we're, no, we're not. We're so sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so sorry, truly. Yeah, so the car goes off the road in an amazing stunt sequence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't say it with a straight it's, face. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Then, uh, so many cuts. The editor of this movie. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Oh, it's... And it bursts it's into bad. flame. Yes. 
killing both the little girl tragically trying to daddy daddy wake up. Oh, women are bitches. Blaze of glory out. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Then opening sequence, opening titles. Uh, twice. Twice. Yeah. That's right. A two movie titles. so confident in of itself that it gives you its title two times in the opening credit. <laughs> this Kathy's is Kathy's Kirk. Curse. Credit, credit. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> Kathy's Curse. Kathy's Curse. You know, he may have forgotten at this point, but. <laughs> yeah. So a new family moves into the old house. Relatives of the uh, aforementioned people who die in the fire. Yeah. So this is where we start going, like, who the fuck are these people? Who was the little girl at the beginning? What the hell's going on in this movie? And uh, do we ever get any answers to that? Well, I stay mean, tuned. There's some hard yeah. deciphering you have to do to figure that shit out. Because, I mean, if you're not paying attention, you could think it's the same girl. Because, I mean, that's what Wait, I, I did. Yeah, I, I thought did. it was. Yeah. Like, I did. Ah. I did, too. I had to really. Do it? No, do no, it's like different. Work. Well, there's yeah. some backstory that's given out that uh, because, of course, there is the housekeeper and the old guy who is the, uh, the. Paul? Yeah. Paul. The old the drunk groundskeeper, groundskeeper, the groundskeeper, yeah. groundskeeper Willie. Okay. That's kind of <laughs> what I got from it. He, he's very hunchy, like groundskeeper. He's, uh-huh. he's, 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 he's long limbs. No, he's, he's like shaggy. He's, yeah. he's like the perfect groundskeeper. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll give it. I'll give the, this movie that. He's, he's like a perfect nice groundskeeper. To the dog. Like yeah. He's, yeah, yeah, he's good ground. That's right. Yeah. Well, it, that's his dog, I think. Right. Think so, we had to yeah. work this out for ourselves, but I think I think it, I think his dog had puppies, and this was one of the this was one of the puppies. Oh, because there was like he's like Paul said she was the pick of the litter. And oh, I true. think I think like he maybe, br- maybe a- breeds dogs or something. That's we say we had to decipher <laughs> this. <laughs> no. We had to decipher it because just all of a sudden there's a scene and they have a dog that yep. they're talking to and it's like, yeah. is it their dog? I, what, yeah, is this a dog? The yeah, neighborhood dog. I thought the I dog mean, was like a demon dog because it's one of those like uh, mastiffs. Doberman. Dobermans. Dobermans. <laughs> thank you very much. That it's, uh, no, it's it's straight up out of a, it's straight up out of a Snoop video. It's got yeah. the the it's chain collar. Like it's a Snoop. It's a Snoop dog. Yeah, got the cropped ears and the chain. Did Damien yeah. have a Doberman? Was that a, or a pit bull? Yeah, Doberman, yeah. I thought it was a Doberman. Dobermans are is, the hounds yeah. of hell, right? That's what we're saying. There. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're trying to figure out who these people are. You got uh, George, the uh, the head of the household. His wife, who apparently has just suffered a miscarriage, which is never to be spoken of or referenced again in the film. Right. But I think it goes to like is where she had a miscarriage. Yeah, they said, she did. They said at the very beginning when they're like before they drive up. <laughs> oh, I miss that. She's, when, uh, the the housekeeper and the groundskeeper are talking, and oh. she's like giving ex- exposition. Right. She mentions the miscarriage. It's oh, good yeah. to have a family in the old house again, but it's too bad that they lost their little kid. Oh, little baby. Gotcha. Okay, I did hear that. I just I gotcha. just heard lost their kid. And it's like eh, yeah, tuning tune out because we <laughs> thought you know, the way that the movie's structured, you're like they're talking about the little girl who died at the beginning of the right. movie. Yeah, but. Because of the mustache and the mullet that the old guy had, this was like clearly takes place like, you know, sometime in the recent past. Yeah. Okay. So in the present day, George of the big fluffy coat, furry coat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a furry coat with toggles. It was great. Mm -hmm. What is a toggle? His wife. uh, What? Oh, like the the long buttons. Those are toggles. Oh. Yeah. We got to bring this look back. Yeah. I love toggles. It was like down to his knees, yeah. too. It looked warm. <laughs> it's it's like the triple coat. X coat. Yeah. Yes, oh, my is. God. It is. <laughs> it is the triple X coat. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Except if you want to be like triple X, he wouldn't be wearing a shirt underneath. Uh, that's right. very that's true. true. That's yep. the, yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, like, the, the, the best part is... Uh, he instantly starts like giving his memoirs tour of the things in the oh, house. Oh, it's all the same. <laughs> Sixty-two years later. Yep. He Here's up, the, yeah. the Come chair women, where let Dad me show used you. to sit. Oh, Dad's chair, Mom's sewing basket. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all so wonderful. Like the first five minutes had us laughing. Yeah, <laughs> I will. I will say oh, that. My favorite statue. There she is. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Yeah, let's not skip over the, the first most love. Of, the first love of my life. <laughs> The yeah. nude statue of, I assume that's Venus. I'm yeah. not yeah. entirely sure. Yeah, yeah. It's a jerk off statue he points out. Yeah. 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 It's, like, oh, <laughs> it's the only thing that I really loved. Yeah. When he br- goes, uh, I'm doing this accent because he <laughs> has sounds, like no, this. No, that's, uh, that's what he sounds uh, like. Very theatrical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, what is that? The intercontinental? Yeah, it's the, uh, yeah. It's the intercontinental. The uh, transatlantic. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Uh, yeah, accent. The actors. Oh, uh, how I've missed you. Yeah. Um, he yeah. sounds like Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> yeah, yes, he does. He yeah. does. He does indeed. Yeah. So he proceeds to snap an arm right off his beloved jerk off statue. That's not the important part. Yeah. This 
is a bad omen of things to come in this house. It is. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, I was going to say there's a lot of like, does that one pay off? Not really. There's a lot of like foreshadowing in this movie that goes absolutely nowhere. Like, that's a movie, a movie that's entirely foreshadowing all the way up to the end. <laughs> yeah. Foreshadowing things that never come about. Yep. It's amazing. Uh, okay, but he also moves in. He's got his wife. Uh, Veronica? Vicky? I no, have no idea what her name is. V. Right? Who we saw. Wife uh, V. In this movie. <laughs> Victoria? She looks kind of like... Um, uh, I forgot her name. Veronica mm-hmm. Carlson, or uh, not Carlson, oh, Cartwright from, from, yeah, uh, Cartwright. Yeah, from, from Alien. Uh, Alien. Yeah, she's got the same kind of those eyes, eyes. Those eyes that never look like they're fixed on anything. Yeah, so they're disturbing. Then mm. those and never creepy. looks like green something. Yeah, mm. and their little daughter Kathy, uh, from which the movie gets its title. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kathy. Kathy is a true big young little blonde girl who immediately uh, goes running up to Laura's old room. Yeah. This is what, I'm I'm not entirely sure that this is actually what happened but so I'm describing you tell me where I'm wrong. The, so she just like has an affinity for Laura's room, runs up there and and uh, Yeah, even be, even before that, she's like she like is picturing the bed and like undoing the covers in her mind yeah. before she even sees the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, while well, in the car. In the car, the coat yeah. And the covers are moving as well. Yeah. This is some kind of uh, psychokinetic ability that she's picking up by being in proximity to I Laura's guess. house. It would yeah. appear so. It's an odd one, but yeah. Yeah. Imagine if it was only for that. She can only tuck herself in at night. That was her power. <laughs> <laughs> Be a short movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. What would you say? It was uh, kind of a wasted superhero power. If I, you can move blankets in a room that no one gets to see it. Right? Yep. This is followed very cl- shortly by an ominous shot of a white door. Yeah. <laughs> that pushed you uh, real close on that. It's door. Like, you meant a light came on. I don't remember the door. You no, remember? like, it's in she, her room. She goes out and she shuts the door behind her and it pushes in on the door. And the Did music you guys- goes. Yeah. Did you not see the light? Nope. A light turned on to make it brighter. Like a spotlight went on the door. But nope. why? I missed the door altogether. Yeah. When they first, it's when she a, first it's leaves the, the room. Most it's just a plain door. door. When she's scene. like, what are you doing up here? Taking a nap? Oh, and she's sitting in the, she's <laughs> she's sitting in the sitting chair. She's sitting in the chair wide awake. Staring? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're taking a nap, dear. I know how you like to do it. Sitting up with your eyes closed. <laughs> open, I mean. With your eyes open. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. After, Kathy, yeah, after she leaves, the door closes. The light goes on. Oh, still. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. We'll be asking that question a lot. Yeah. Yep. So Kathy goes up to, eventually finds her way up to the attic, uh, where she, this yeah. is where all the dusty old shit is, and the I creepy, love, creepy clown I love paintings. old house attics. When you, there's an actual staircase that goes up, and it's like, it, it's an actual like functioning part of the house. It's not like a weird crawl space or anything. I yeah. love a good old attic. And I love old movies where like the door to the attic's been closed for a hundred years, and somebody yeah. gets the key and opens yes. it. That doesn't happen in this movie. No, it yeah. doesn't. Uh, but they go. She goes up to the the attic and finds Laura's uh, portrait, which yeah. has these glowing green eyes. Um, before she even gets to the portrait, there's a fucking mural or something behind her. What the hell? All was the that? mouths on it, yeah. like the it, open yeah. mouths. Yeah. yeah, that was. Weird. That was so weird. Was it a painting? Was it a, a yeah, it was mural? A yeah, it was like it was a painting. A painting. A huge I assumed. Painting. That like maybe demonic faces. It was yeah. weird as hell. Well, because at this point in the movie, you're trying to put it together, and you're like, okay, this little girl was evil. The uh, Laura was evil, lived yeah. in the house, and she painted all this weird fucking shit. She's dead, and she's going to possess Kathy and uh, continue her reign of terror. It's just so weird, though. It's like, oh, here's an old mannequin. Here's an old tennis racket. Here's my demon mural. <laughs> like, it's so weird. The mannequin head was kind of creepy. Though. The mannequin head was creepy, yeah, but also. it's but that was like a um, like a cosmetics <laughs> practice right. mannequin. Yeah, right. it's yeah. like, look, like, you're pretty yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. It's so pretty. The demon yeah. mural is never referenced again. Nope, nope, never mentioned. Never, never seen. No. Nope. It's again. just in the background. But she does find a creepy old doll. Yeah. With its eyes so shut. Like the mm-hmm. most poorly... Done. It's a corn if husk it's doll. Be, if it's gonna be the main prop of a movie, you should make it look real nice, and this one does not. I was gonna teach the children how to make corn husk dolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we assume that this belonged to Laura. We assume because we're never told. There's never Isn't that moment. Is she holding a doll in the in the scene when her dad comes in the opening? Uh, Isn't she holding a doll when she's sitting on the bed? Maybe. Yeah, I thought she was. So, right. so many quick cuts in that scene. I know. Yeah, yeah the editing is insane. I was distracted yeah. by that. Yeah. 
But I mean, I guess I was waiting for the scene where someone comes in and says like, oh my God, this is Laura's doll. Where did you find it? That never happens. No. His sister. It's his sister. It's the father's sister who died. So it would be her aunt. Yes. Yeah. So no clue, no. no answer to that one. He was uh, preoccupied with the statue. Where? Yeah. Okay. So where was he? He's like, away. Crap. Like the 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 mother took him away. Something. The father was very angry at her. Yeah. Uh, so the, when the mom left, she took him. I guess so. That's what I'm confused about. Like, well, how is in his the, in the past? How is his presence yeah, possible? If right. Mom left. Dad and daughter die. How? Where is? Where is he? How did he? Where did he, where come, did he come from? from? They yeah, he's gone that day. Well, we got to point out that he never makes any kind of reference back to like you know. I mean, there's no scene with his wife where he's like you know it's weird being back in this house yeah. after my sister and my father died and the, nothing. No mention. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> You would barely even know if they were related. He yeah. just reminisces about how everything is in the same spot. That's like, in the, the first yeah, like yeah. five minutes, and yeah. that's it. And, and that's there's it. a yeah. there's a photograph at some point that's becomes a a prop, uh, you know, like a, a subject of interest in the movie that is of just the father. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um. So we know that he lived in the house, and it's reinforcing. Okay, this is the house so that we the saw guy. at the at the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, Kathy finds this doll. And shortly thereafter, strange things begin to happen. So uh, mom invites over uh, the next door neighbor. Yep. And br- she brings, she brings along a friend. Agnes. <laughs> Agnes the medium. Because I think in the 70s, everyone had that friend who was uh, into, you know, into yeah. the psychic. Like, oh, I've decided case. I'm into being a medium now. Like they're trying a yeah. new I, thing every month. I feel like we would have been that friend, Michaela. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So how come we don't have that friend? Oh, we do have that friend now. Hey, Nick, I'm glad you're listening. Oh, Nick. Uh, but so the, uh, yeah, so there's a scene and it's like cut. There's like three things happening, I think, mm-hmm. at once in this cross cutting, this it's crazy so manic, weird. manic thing that's <laughs> happening because out back, uh, Kathy has run into these the, the the neighbor children, and she's restaging the car crash. Yes, at the beginning, mm-hmm. uh, in very I wouldn't say With vulgar bo- terms, but uh, she's being yeah. <laughs> very descriptive and very uh, using recreating profanity. dialogue and yeah. profanity. Or it's yeah. a little girl, so I'm like, okay, they saw The Exorcist, and so that's what they're going to do. While in the parlor, Agnes is freaking out in uh, having a grand mal seizure (laughs) Mm -hmm. as she experiences the evil contained in the photograph about the father. So So you're like, okay, the dad's actually the evil one. So he's haunting the house. There's going to be this whole plot about how as long as we destroy the evil of the father in the house. and No. Okay. Movie's about something else. So what? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Kathy does try to sew a little girl's eyes shut. Right. To help her. Well, I mean, on the playground. That, that's, that's a lot of extrapolating. Kind of happen. Because what we actually true. see on screen is nothing like that. <laughs> we see her walk towards her with a needle, and then we cut back into the house, and then we cut back out, and like, man, they turn the camera away from that kid so many times so you can't see her face. You see a close up, and she has like one little dot of red paint under her eye. That mm-hmm. is it. Like mm-hmm. the. The blood, I'm using big air quotes of that, in this movie is literally just like red acrylic paint. Red paint, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the, 70s, the best blood. It's 70s, 70s blood. Yeah, it's 70s, 70s movie blood, blood. yeah. Love but it. like its consistency and texture does not look anywhere what it should be. The dog, is, it's especially bad on the dog later Yeah. On. Yeah. Yeah, I yes. forgot. Like they're using the dog for that scene, right? Like, okay, I was trying to figure it out, but they're cutting away so hard. It looked like they had the dog just lay down and they painted it. Yeah. 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 But. Like, how'd they get the dog to sit that still? I don't like, know. Like said it ever something yeah. like that. Yeah, it was the 70s. They yeah, did that Yeah, they shit. probably did yeah. that, yeah. Maybe. And they're just like, oops, we murdered the dog. <laughs> the dog outacts everyone in this movie, I yeah, think. Yeah, he does. This is a very <laughs> well-behaved dog yeah. who can, it's like, well-trained. back up in fear. Very well-trained. You know, uh, what else did he do? Paul did a good job raising those dogs, you know? He did. Job, Paul. <laughs> he he yes, breeds he good Dobermans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's our, uh, sorry, who's our first uh, victim? Uh, the, the housekeeper? housekeeper, Mabel. Look, know. she looks it's like all a Mabel. done. 
<laughs> I have picked up two pieces. <laughs> yeah, it's a b- bizarre scene where, because uh, the little girl starts to exhibit, Kathy starts mm-hmm. to exhibit uh, antisocial, shall we say, tendencies. And angry, yes. Which includes uh, psychically destroying, shattering dad's prized uh, Venus statue, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. he just spent all night repairing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. straight up uh, Christmas story style, sitting there with a the glue, gluing it back together. Mm-hmm. It seriously felt like the leg lamp scene from that it movie. It did. Yeah. You could tell he loved Loved this thing more than anybody else around him. Very much for it. But that gets destroyed, and then she is, is having her her breakfast in the morning, and just picks up the bowl and right in front of Mabel, <laughs> flings it, flings that shit across the room, and shatters it on the floor. Mabel's like, "Oh, don't worry, dearie, I'll pick it up." She picks up like two pieces. It's all done now, and as there's fifty pieces yeah. on the floor, oh, <laughs> there's boy. shards like covering the that floor. Must have been like, all "No, done. it's not in the shot." Go ahead, just say the line. Well, she's <laughs> not wearing glasses, and a woman with her advanced age, it's very possible that she could. So they have a senile woman taking care of the house. Like, oh, look, it's all done. It's all me. done. It's white to porcelain on a white floor. I can't tell. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. That man was the most clueless man in the history. <laughs> Men. So. Who are you talking about? George? George. You're yeah. seeing this all wrong. He's the goddamn unsung hero of this movie. Is he? Yeah, well, because... Yeah, while the women are off being women, yeah. according to this movie. The women yeah. are being bitches. Well, <laughs> bitches. All women are bitches. He, all the women in this movie, to be fair, in the, in the film, are all batshit fucking crazy. Every single one of them, except possibly the next door neighbor, who seems to be relatively yeah, insane. And but, the dog. The and dog, the dog is female. And the dog, <laughs> right, yeah, who is out acting, still out acting, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Um, but he's like, because I was looking at this, because you mentioned that like during the movie, it's like, this is the most clueless guy in, in history, and I'm sitting there going like, well, maybe, but he isn't seeing any of the weird shit that everybody else is seeing. Like there's like mom's seeing fucking Kathy teleporting around the house and just like those wonderful edit like yeah. and then oh, the person's God. gone. Yes. Which the stop she motion edits, yeah. But she doesn't react like at all. No. She's like, Oh, Kathy, come back here. What You're are you not doing listening to me. I mean that's what it's happens. Like she's when... teleporting around the house. <laughs> she's teleporting around the house. Yeah. Oh boy. But he's like, uh, you know, his wife, there's that scene where, you know, he's like, uh, he's trying to tell her something. And she's like, what? She like goes crazy on him. And he's like, well, maybe I explained myself incorrectly. I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean to upset you. The guy can't get a good night's sleep because somebody's always screaming or like doing stuff like around him. And he's like, what the? He's working 18 hour days. His wife's trying to dry her face on his coat. Yeah. He, yeah he's trying to. Yeah. Because he's sleeping. She's like, <laughs> she's wandering around. Oh, she goes into God, the bathroom. Then they both crack up over red paint. They're like, <laughs> well, this like is where minutes. George is starting to lose it because he does actually make a change. There's one like key moment later on where she, where he's like, he's uh, uh, shaving. Mm-hmm. It's a pointless fucking scene, except for this. He's shaving, and then all of a sudden the razor stops. He comes out and he's like, "Remember, you have to take your car in to get it serviced today." Then he goes back in the bathroom, and I'm like, "This is the first time he hasn't done anything for her." Other than this, he's been taking care of her and the kid the whole way through the movie. And this part, he hasn't. And the very next scene, she's like, something's happening in this house. You're being distant from me and all this. And I'm like, what What are you talking about? He, want, he just wanted you to take your car to, <laughs> to the shop. <laughs> We're too far into it. Whatever that happens. He's just being very attentive. Yeah. <sighs> he was. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and he didn't notice any of the weird shit happening. No. Because he's like, no, no. So the weird shit, though, is like... That people are dying and everyone's acting weird? He didn't notice any of that. Because he comes home, well, I suppose, right? weird shit? I'll give you weird shit. When Agnes just barges into the room, into the house, the first time, for her own sake... But this is the 70s, nobody closes the door. I'm in search Especially in Canada. (laughs) Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. (laughs) All doors are open in the that's why later on when all the windows and doors start shutting automatically, it's just like, well, they were all open. It's yeah. Canada. I mean, his wife might have been crazy, but... Um, was it Vivian? He it might... Yeah. Oh, right. I think it was Vivian. Yes, it was. Um, but I mean, you have to be pretty clueless to look at a slashed up dog and ask if it was poison. <laughs> yeah, he does. Do you he think does that. That. Poison? <laughs> yeah. Well, he... Because he can't adjust to, like, the, the irrationality. 
of everything that's happening around. But so if like, you've had Lula's- three people be either injured or killed and a dog in your house within like what we don't know what we don't know how long this movie takes place over. It seems like it's like a week. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like it's like a yeah. week. Like, don't you think maybe there's something up if if literally everyone that has come into your house has died or because literally because literally like the shit with the um the neighbor kids and the medium and all that oh, that was kids. the first day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, it, was just, it was day two. No, she told her to come it was back the first. It day. was the first. It was, but later on, he says it's our first night here, and it was um, after that scene. Uh, yeah, touche, yeah. touche, touche. <laughs> and they never show any like immediate reaction shots to any of the events that happen in this house. No, because it's always like. Two hours later, after they've got it sorted out, then they're just walking through the house going, well, it happened again. Would you mind watching the children? <laughs> like, no immediate reactions to any of the events that are going None. on. None. Yeah. Oh, there's bizarre, like, Paul's side Paul's not reactions. feeling well. He just threw up his insides. <laughs> yeah, and his hand <laughs> got opened by a doll. But he's not yeah. feeling well. <laughs> but there's also, there was a scene, and now I can't remember who uh, met with some type of calamity, but the way that the editing was structured, it's like there was an almost subliminal shot in there of the doctor who we met earlier, Mm -hmm. leaving the house. Yeah. Yeah. We don't see him talking to anybody in the house. We don't see where he goes. It's like there's a shot of someone, you know, falling off a ladder or something. something. Yeah. Something happened to Vivian. Doctor leaves the house and then dad comes home. And you're like, okay. I think that came after, there was a shot of him calling the doctor. And then they showed the doctor leaving the house. I don't know. There was something later where something was happening to Vivian and immediately it just went to the doctor leaving the house. That's, I think, what I'm thinking of. Yeah. I'm not sure. I remember he called the doctor, but it seemed like that was unrelated unrelated to the... Yeah, there was another it was, thing. It was an unmotivated, like... Uh, I thought he called twice. They may have. It's hard to keep track because of the it editing of this film. It's all over the place. There's foreshadowing that Vivian's... Gonna, or, uh, Kathy's going to get locked in the attic. Right. God, that's that sets up so early and pays off so late that you almost forget about Did it. Did it pay off? No. Well, okay. Really it. it I mean, yeah, because she went. Well, no, we didn't necessarily hear the door shut behind her, right? Oh, you're Wait, saying Agnes? when Agnes went up? Yeah, it did, but yeah. she wasn't locked in though. Like that wasn't part of it. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's right. a. It goes up again. It is one yeah. of those movie moments in a movie where they make a big deal out of like you know. Uh, I have to oil this so no one gets stuck in the attic. Yeah. Close, <laughs> slow, close yeah, up like on, the, on the, the doorknob. Yeah. they are like, There's well, no serious, payoff. This is going to come into play later. Nope. No. We didn't mention the first time Agnes went to the attic. Up until this point, Paul. She went there twice. There, she did the first time. Paul has been. Mostly normal at this point. He's the groundskeeper. He's got a dog. He's got everything. It's fine. And he's oh, helped look after the kids yeah. and everything. But Agnes makes her way into the house the first time, goes up to the attic, opens the door. Because oh, she hears hysterical laughing from this man. Hysterical Maniacal. laughing. Maniacal. Oh, Maniacal oh, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried opens to block this out. That's why I couldn't remember. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about this. Yeah. And he's sitting there with Kathy on his lap, and she's just pouring him whiskey. <laughs> yeah. And he's drunk and off he's drunk his off ass. And he's drunk off his ass. She's laughing. Like, no, just, listener, I want you to picture this. It's the he's, worst he's a man in his 70s. Yeah. They're it, Groundskeeper behind, Willie, for all intents Willie, and purposes. He's, they're behind a closed door that goes up to an attic, sitting on the stairwell, and there's this, like, seven-year-old girl sitting on his lap, holding a decanter of whiskey, pouring it for him. Smiling, yeah. also maniacally. Yeah. Ew! Yeah. Oh, is that the scene where Ew. they start berating? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, it's dried up old whore. Shocking coarse oh language God. coming out of this little girl. Everything about that scene is just disgusting. I think she's just trying to kill him with whiskey. Oh my God. Well, it seems like they're friends. Yeah. Or maybe they're just having a good time. And then later, she pulls like a Jedi mind trick on him. Oh God. Uh, oh yeah. Because she has uh, another mm-mm. part of her ability is apparently she can summon. I don't know if this is actually happening or because early. Earlier, she's going to take mom breakfast, which is, you know, toast and whatever. And, and we, had, we, had we had much yeah. debate. We had much what was, debate. else was on that Listeners, tray? Listeners, please tell us what, what was on the tray. Was but it I raw meat? Was Collins, it meatloaf? Please tell me what that but is. Th- yeah. But it's so confusing because he seems to be making breakfast, but then he tells her, he's like, you must be so tired. You should go to bed. Like, it's nighttime. Yeah. So it, I, it felt like breakfast. Because he's making like, an omelet. Yeah. And there's like milk and just breakfast things. And then it's like nighttime. I'm pretty sure nobody eats that omelet. 
No. Nobody, no. He doesn't bring it up to anybody. No. This I, movie's just anti-climax after anti-climax. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like there is a no, moment... Scenes leading to nothing all the time. But even when, there they was found, a, when they found the frying pan, oh, it must be women's tuition. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, where that. is it? In the cupboard. You'll make yourself Whoa. a good wife one day. <laughs> <laughs> there was a scene Man. where the wife who has been bedridden because she suffered a, uh, a hysterical a m- mental breakdown. Nervous, nervous breakdown. breakdown. Nervous breakdown. Uh, before the movie started. Ostensibly, you know, I had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> we both know. <laughs> so she, there's the idea that she's going to have one again, and so she has to go to the the hospital, and then comes back, and so then she's like, you know, bedridden, and there is a scene where she like tries to get up out of bed, and then falls back oh. into bed, and that's the end of the scene. <sighs> It was like even an anticlimax, like getting out of bed scene. It was, no, it was she's oh, no, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, thought that was going somewhere. Yeah. Well, the, yes. the Jedi mind trick, though, like Ugh. that's where all the money went in this movie, right? Like to the like all the all the, the animal handlers for the snakes and tarantula and the rats, right? Like that's had to be where it all went, right? Or it went to hazard pay for these actors. Yeah. Yeah. Because they spend a lot of time uh, going uh, swimming. It's, it looks like it's like 30 degrees. You can see everybody's breath. Yep. They go into a pond at one point. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of face planting in the snow. Uh, I think all like three of the main characters all slip and fall at some point. Oh, in the that, and that was not scripted. That was like, oh, right. shit, this is ice. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. When she's rounding the house. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did, yeah. Did you look at that lawn? It's all snow and mud. Yeah. yeah. Like it's yeah. slippery. And it's on spot. a hill as it is. Yeah. Like uh-huh. it's on a steep hill already. Yeah. Deep yeah. incline. That was the good yeah. take. Yeah. Yeah. But there's this scene with uh, groundskeeper Willie. <laughs> Where this is after they've had their fun on the stairs, which was described in great detail before, that they're down at the uh, in the kitchen, and he's having a, a drink, and Kathy freezes him in place, and then ca- causes a drawer to open next to him very slowly, <laughs> and out of this drawer pours a whole bunch of snakes, and two Holly to be exact, lost her fucking mind. I did. I did. Because yeah. we established on, uh, was it the uh, buried, buried, buried episode? Buried. Buried. Yeah. Also Canadian. Yep, yep. For Holly one did. guy's Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> the whole cast is Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I didn't get that joke until I went, I went back and heard <laughs> <laughs> There's only one guy in the cast. You're right. You're right. Whole cast Canadian. Uh-huh. Bravo. I didn't get it. Because we were trying to get we the specifics yeah. of the phone calls yeah. and those people. Yeah. Just like, yeah. oh no, it's just Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we even asked, like, is uh, Tobolowski Canadian? Uh, uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh-huh. We're just dumb. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I swear, like, I thought for a second there, I was like, this is actor's seriously about to get bit by this snake. That like, snake. That was up, like yeah. almost about to bite his neck. I was like... He was like looking was for a good spot. Angry. Yeah. Did you see any of this, Holly? Um, I, I saw bits of it. At, once the snake started staring at him, I, I stopped watching. I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. Neck. I couldn't oh, yeah. do it anymore. And I was like, okay, so either the snake didn't bite him or the snake did and they, some for some yeah. reason, cut that out and left that out. But like, if, yeah. the, if the actor's going to take one for the team like that, leave it in. Yeah. Like, well, that's uh, one of the behind the scenes. Like, you fucking bastard! You promised me you the said day. They were bite. <laughs> as as he's holding half the snake that he had to pull off of himself, and he killed yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, it does. When you see it, oh, you, it it's that like, snake is going to bite yeah. him. Like that yeah. is. It looks agitated. He's just like frozen. He blinks at some point. I'm like, oh shit! That's what's gonna give him away, and the thing's gonna. Like yeah. that's that's the scary part of the uh, movie. That poor actor. Yeah. Well, it's, there's also a tarantula it. that Open crawls all corner. over him. Yeah, they yeah, and that gets real close to his ear, and I didn't like that uh-huh. either. Well, there was the snake I was watching Rats. at one point, like, uh, it was by his hand, and I'm like, this fucking thing is going to go up inside his shirt, mm. and we're, now we're going to see what happens here. It didn't actually happen, but I was, yeah. it was very close. And the, then he's got rats, I think, running all over They didn't really do anything. They just kind of were chilling by his feet. Yeah. 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 And he was wearing boots. He yeah, could have rat stomping boots. Yeah, like rat stomping yeah. yeah. boots, yeah. yeah. And for being frozen, he's somehow still able to gingerly lift his uh, feet off the floor so the rats don't, you know. Yeah, I noticed that too, yeah. Yeah. What's the the outcome of this scene? Nothing. No. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Apparently, he's it was a fine. Scare She's fine. 
The animals go away. Everyone's fine. Well, somehow Scare Groundskeeper tactic? Willie kind of, ends he up only with wants his... to kill women. Apparently, no, he, he ends up like with females. his face torn off. In well, this the is film. later though, because like after that scene, he's like the show. There's another scene where he's like up in his bedroom taking a drink. He's like, ah, God, fucking whatever. Because he's looking out the window. <laughs> oh, when people come home. He was sad because the dog was dead. Oh yeah, the dog. Uh, yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. But he was fine. Yeah. up till that point, like, she killed afterwards. the dog too. We're assuming somehow she sees the dog barks all the time. Doesn't like her. Yeah, yeah it's a female as well. Yep. Mm-hmm. Doesn't like I don't women. get it. Females don't like her? Is that what you're saying? I don't because know. Because she's just, possessed by the, the spirit of her father? No, the mom apparently did something wrong. Because the dad is like the same. Earlier in the first scene, the dad is like the savior, comes and gets her and everything. But the mom apparently did something so horribly wrong and took the brother away. I don't know. But she doesn't like females throughout the rest of the movie. I don't know. Which is the, the well, this would be uh, Kathy's grandfather's position, right? Yeah. But we just there's no psychological insight here. We have no idea why or why, even if this is him, because I'm mm-hmm. still under the impression that she's possessed. The doll is possessed by Laura, the little girl dying. Yeah, because later on she says, "I'm Laura." Like it's there's no evidence that it's anyone but Laura. Yeah. I mean, so why so Laura is a woman hating little? Uh, because she's a daddy's girl. Demon. Yeah. Child. That's it. She's just she's wants daddy's daddy girl. Ooh, do you think she was responsible for the miscarriage? Dun dun dun. <laughs> It was a boy. Was it? Know. Did they have that association yet? No. no. They went ahead and moved into the house. It's extrapolation. It's possible. Though. I mean, <laughs> hey, in this yeah. movie, we, yeah, we don't, we don't fucking know. know. Yeah. <laughs> we're digging deep. See, this is archaeology. <laughs> yeah. So we're, yeah. We're digging deep so you don't have to, listener. Hopefully, digging it'll deeper. be That's entertaining as we go. So, but okay, there is another uh, Jedi mind trick that Kathy pulls on. Um, I want to keep calling her Mabel. I don't know if that's her name. The the housekeeper. Mary? Mary? <laughs> Jinx. Oh, we're going to go with that's it. Mary of the old house. You both sounded I like equally Mabel. unsure about that, Mary. <laughs> yeah. I can't, well, I can't imagine they went to too much trouble trying to think of a name for this woman. So <laughs> yeah. Mary is I probably f- a safe bet. Well, I feel like it was Mary. But Mabel Let's go with fun. Mary. Yeah. Mabel sounds older. Okay, so she. Well, Mabel's cleaning the house and she finds the uh, the doll in uh, hidden in, in uh, uh, Kathy's room. Yeah. And then I think there's a scene where we get the one of those close-ups on um, Kathy's eyes and the spooky yeah. music, and mm. and we're sitting there hoping that this is going to be a scanner's moment. Oh, and her so head's many moments explode. for head explosions! It would have been better if there were some head explosions. Yeah, I was waiting for eyeballs to pop it out. It would have been it would have been better, but you were the only one waiting. This is true. We all knew it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Just the music and nothing. Yeah, because it's building <laughs> all the climax. Me. Yeah. And what happens? At best, you get red paint. <laughs> she goes out the window. I don't yeah. get it. The dummy goes out the window. She lands in the snow. She's mm-hmm. dead. Yep. A little red paint around her. She's dead. Yep. Didn't she see? Did she see something? Did uh, Kathy do some kind of woo on her? I don't know. I can't even remember. I don't think so. She did that mirror trick earlier, just before that happened. Where she's standing in the mirror, or looking in the mirror, but she sees Laura. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, Laura is gone from the reflection, but Kathy is not in the reflection. And we're like, what the holy hell is yeah. going on here? Mm-hmm. Uh, Mom also has a similar moment where she, at some point, goes to take her suicide bath. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't love me anymore. He thinks I'm crazy. Like, well, because you know, you're acting crazy, but she gets into the tub, which is always a bad thing to do in these type of movies, and the, the water runs red. It sure does. And that's followed With leeches. by leeches. <laughs> many leeches. Leeches. Kamikaze leeches. So many. That's that's it. That's when the doctor leaves the house. Yeah. yeah right yeah, after yeah, leeches. Yeah. yeah. It's her smacking off all the leeches and then cut right to the doctor leaving the house. Yeah. yeah. Cut to George yeah. coming home. Yes. There's no. There's never any immediate aftermath. Yep, it's always like right. two hours later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because then Paul is asked to, you know, come and stay with the kid. I think this is the point where, you know, right? Mm. It's like, I'm going to be gone. I have to do this contract or whatever. And, you yeah. know, we'll see if Paul can stay with you. And then, like, he calls <laughs> to see how his, his uh, wife is doing. And uh, Paul's like, yeah, she's been sleeping since she left. But didn't we just establish that he works 18 hour days? Yep. Yeah. Yes. He's sleep for 18 hours. Poor George. He was out with his wife trying to have a meal. She didn't even eat her meal. Then she's like, I got to go home and check on Kathy. See, he's still, he didn't Bring even get a, a meal present? at the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She, there was a present for someone? Um, he offered. She, I know. Did, she didn't ask to leave. He offered. I know, because that's the kind of guy he's like giving up his own. Uh, yeah. 
As long as he's got a statue, he'll be okay. Uh, but he, he doesn't. <laughs> but it's destroyed. And the, but nothing is made of that. Now he's forced to pay attention to his wife. Now, yeah. damn it! He's like, God damn it! He's gone. Yeah. He took his only the joy. The only reason I took this his house only back. joy. <laughs> that was the motivation all along. He yeah. just wanted the statue back. It's like, oh God, I hope the statue's still there. <laughs> yeah. But the, his colossal disappointment at finding, coming home and finding the statue shattered all over the floor and going, who broke my statue? And Why? Like, yeah. Oh, it didn't right? The con moment. Yeah. No, it, it, didn't did, it didn't happen. Shaking Kathy by the shoulders. No. What did you happen. do? That father does not get angry. Well, no. he gets angry once. At Kathy? No, not at Kathy. He never gets mad at Kathy. No, at Vivian. Yeah, he, he gets he annoyed at, her at one point. I can't remember about what. After he was shaving, he was about to. Yeah. You. you I don't know. She accuses him of being distant, and he's like, "You're crazy." <laughs> <laughs> I imagine him slapping. I don't know why. Yeah, making life unbearable. <laughs> yeah, um, it's her fault. He's, she's an hysterical woman. Yeah, and she needs to stop. Well, to be fair, she's got a crazy little girl running around, like exacerbating with her the, specifically. The yeah, yeah. Pouring leeches out of bathroom drains and closing all the windows and doors on her. Pouring paint on coats that you use to dry your hands after you've washed your face in the yep. sink. All that in the dark closet. I someone <laughs> fucking explain that to me. She gets up, she splashes water on her face, she leaves the bathroom without touching see. a towel. She's like, I can't see. I'm blind. I'm blind. I better, I better like leave the, the bathroom and go to the clo- the coat closet and find a coat to dry my face. Maybe that's where they kept the towels. In the coat closet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's no closet. There's no it. towels in the bathroom. Maybe not. They just I, moved in. Mm-mm. They haven't put towels in there yet. There was towels. <laughs> there's no linen closet. <laughs> there was there's towels. Some, it's, it's, it's there's no towels. way. So those bottles of red paint they find in the closet, that's definitely the prop master's like stash of blood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But they call them a tonic. It's like a yeah, it's, My yeah. dad used to use this. It was a tonic. He had to have it every day. <laughs> He was afraid he'd run out. <laughs> That's literally what that scene goes down like. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Colin's not exaggerating. Well, there's, there's two people laughing at the yeah. same time, but yeah. it's knee slapping. Oh. Knee yeah. slapping me. It's hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. So, um, so Vivian, at some point, under the care of, uh, of Paul, is uh, bedridden. Again. Uh, uh, <laughs> again, for again. most of them. Right. And she begins to have nightmares. About uh, Kathy being attacked by possibly Laura or possibly uh, the mustache twirling uh, evil grandfather. So she's like, no, get away from my daughter. Don't touch my daughter. Stay away. Then she's like, the doll, the doll. I have to burn it. I have to burn the doll. (laughs) Colin, does that come to fruition at all? (laughs) Well, Paul is sitting there. Well, uh, don't ruin the suspense there, Sean. (laughs) I have to build. (laughs) So sorry. They ruined it first. (laughs) So that scene went on forever. Oh yeah, they did it twice. I think so. Oh my god, from different god. sides of the bed. That's all it was. It's yeah. Just like, well, all right, we got the point. Let's go. Yep. But Paul, he also got the point. He's like, I got to go burn this doll because mm. the doors are closing by themselves. Lights are coming out in the house all by themselves. Mm. Mm-hmm. There's sounds of industrial like, manufacturing. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. It's true. If they had flipped the shot, there's like a new like skyscraper going up right uh-huh. next door to their house. One of those right? bleak gray concrete <laughs> structures. Yeah. Also, uh, a new condominium going in. Did you see? Also, the weather changes day by day. Like they're almost hour by hour. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. It's sunny. It's, it's, it's fine. Sun. Yeah. It's foggy sunny. There's gray. four inches of snow. Yeah. It's, it's foggy Canada, and gray. Eh? It's sunny. It's like it's the middle of Illinois. But don't yeah. they have like a continuity? Person on staff when they well, make. There's nothing movies. you can do about snow. According to the credits, they did have Assist, a continuity. Assistant continuity. Yeah. yeah, something. Uh, Ivanka Champagne, I think was her name. Oh, that's like nice. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ivanka is. Champagne. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. that is. Yeah. Um, so do we figure this movie's made by like uh, college students or this? Is no, the they do movie? better work than. This. So this How is like this somebody movie? who's a construction guy, and he's like, you know what? So I got some 41. money. Should we make a movie? 41. The director was like forty when he made this movie. Okay, so what? Because he's like eighty three now. Has he made anything else? He made a lot of French movies, and prior to this, like, prior to this, get the fuck out of here! Yeah. This guy has made other films, French, uh, well, fr- French movies. <laughs> uh, I, I would say about, about the same Oof. level of competency. I would, I would guess. We're not slamming maybe, all French movies. No. Just, then, just the stuff to this guy. Maybe like four or five more after this. 
wow. and that's it. The latest one was probably like 2002 or something. Yeah, it's not it's not mm-hmm. much. And nothing any of us have really ever heard of, I don't think. Most of mm. them were French, and then like three of them were... Yeah. Kathy's Curse is the high point of his uh, career I for mean, its maybe. cult uh, cult status. He has so. 18 director credits. Yeah. How many before this movie? Oh, hold on. Well, I mean, I and guess it's what I was wondering. It's like watching it, I'm like, clearly this is... Whoever wrote this is working through some kind of issues. Clearly. <laughs> 12 before this movie. <laughs> How many times was she called... Uh, what? She, they called her a whore, yeah, well, a dried up whore. I, that's yeah. Agnes. Yeah, they called yeah. her. Yeah, whore. you old cow, dirty whore. Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of old cows. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I swear to you, I don't think they swear. I think Jesus Christ as an exclamation. The guy mm-hmm. says that like three or four times. Yeah. So that's his favorite go-to. Jesus Christ, woman, bitch. But bitch is bitch. like thrown around like Man. wow. I mean, it was just by this little girl. I yeah. guess that's why it's standing out. You I know, I mean, guess. it still is. Even though we've seen The Exorcist, obviously, you know, yeah. it's like, you know, and they've done it since where you have little kids swearing or the little drug dealer RoboCop coming off with the F-bombs or whatever, yeah. but it was just so mean-spirited and, you know. And it's uh, initiated by the original dad. Right. Very oh, true. Yeah. Your mother's a bitch. All women are bitches. Yeah. Ah, see? Twirls the headphones off. Yeah. But I was just wondering yeah. if it's like, is this, you know... You know, because it, it didn't. Did his feel, wife leave him? The no, director? I mean the, is that what you're wondering? Uh, or the writer? Like yeah. The possession situation. Yeah. Same the guy. Same guy. Oh, the director wrote the screenplay. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Eddie something. Eddie, Eddie Madelone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But they don't. Well, apparently he had something to work through. But it's clearly not then the work of like a first time filmmaker. No. Was nope. he the only one? I thought there were two other writers. On uh, this. I, I was looking at his IMDb. Uh, so I think there's two other writers on this movie. He was one of the writers, but there were, I think there were two other ones. Maybe he thought it was avant garde. Was avant garde a thing? Like that's the 50s. Well, and 60s, hey, we right, clearly don't have the capacity for that. That's so. oh, true. We've been true. Told. We cannot understand true. this. Um, fuck it. <laughs> but it is kind of like taking. So okay, we got to burn this doll, right? This is the climax would, of the film. We, this is because yep, this is how horror that's movies. How it's got to end. We've, you we've take the foreshadowed it. Doll. We've been it's told, been told directly yeah. Yeah. that this is what needs to happen. We should burn the doll. Although we here sitting here should have known that at no point I don't believe is there because if you're going to burn the doll, I think like in even like the Amityville horror, which this movie also kind of feels like yeah. a little bit like George, oh, even though that came later. Yeah, after this. Uh, there should have been a shot of like, you know, when they move into the house, they, you know, have a scene, mom and dad in front of a fire. Yes. That's what I was thinking. To establish like, that. Yeah, right? there's a fireplace and easy. It's like, we should burn it. And then you're thinking, oh, the fireplace they ran earlier. Because in my mind, when he's like, hey, we've got to burn it. I'm like, where's she going to take it? I don't remember yeah. seeing a fireplace. She's just going to do it on the stove. <sighs> Maybe? Well, I mean, we've already established they don't know what foreshadowing means, but they did that with the doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, let's just throw this in. Should we have a payoff? Nah. I don't think so. No, all set up, no payoff. Oh, we forgot the uh, yeah um, the psychics uh, Jedi mind trick. She sees like an old, haggard, badly made up version of herself. Oh god! Ah, yeah. In the attic. Yeah, you can see Ugh. the prosthetic line between where they put the wig on and where they did the makeup on her. It's terrible. Leave this house. Like mm-hmm. it looks like she's supposed to look old, but it's just it just looks shitty instead. It, yeah. How did she die? I think she didn't. She, she didn't die. She just left. Fell down in the front yard. She was like, I'm not going to say anything. Just let me leave. And they let her leave. She just falls in the yard on her way out. <laughs> That's it. And <laughs> probably slipped on some mud like everybody else. Yeah. Exactly. I think she did. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. She, did. Yeah. she was one she of the did. people who fell. And they're like, well, we should probably just cut it there. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's it. She's <laughs> out of the movie. Yeah. So old Paul, he takes the doll. Uh, I don't think he makes it. I don't remember what happened to him. Oh, remember his uh, face? He, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. His yeah. face gets he, chewed up. He throws up his insides, and then his face is gone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you she know, t- like you do. Like she you takes do. the doll back and twists it, and somehow I think like he hemorrhages or whatever. Yeah, something and like that. I don't know. Oh, there was an accident this morning. Old Paul had an accident. It's probably where Kathy is at the hospital with him. Um, Not feeling well. So mom is left oh, to grab the uh, the doll. And yeah. uh, in an act of desperation, because I think at this point, Kathy has taken on the scarred, burned, Freddy Krueger-ish the burns. visage. Yeah, yeah. the burns. Visage. visage. I was going to say, is that why you're doing that? Yep. Oh, yeah. Visage. <laughs> the, 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 the visage. The scarred visage of uh, little Laura. Mm-hmm. But it's really odd because, I mean, in that scene where she's, with the dad finally comes in and the mom is trying to get rid of the doll. I feel like there's, they show two different versions of Laura, or of uh, Kathy. Because they, because remember her name. I know. I don't. I don't know. Because um, the dad 
like sees the little burn face, but then they show her in a room with her mom and she doesn't have burn face. It's very unclear. I don't know if there's two versions of her, and or it's just bad editing is what it is. Are they each seeing a different? Uh, I don't you know. know. Yeah, it's yeah. unclear. I don't know <laughs> so how do we get rid of this doll? I mean, the dad finally breaks in and sees, and they all kind of like confront each other in the kitchen, and the mother gets a hold of the doll somehow mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. rips those fucking stitches out. Yeah. So that because that's that's where we the were going. In the eyes, yeah. yeah. That's where we were going this whole time, and apparently that's all. <laughs> that's where the power. That's comes all Laura from? wanted. She wanted to be able to see. Yep. <laughs> Even though she had the creepy painting the with end. the glowing eyes <laughs> in the attic. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I have no idea. <laughs> were we supposed to burn it? Nope. Good enough. Nope. Good uh, that's enough. Fine. Yeah. We only got one doll. No. Nah, yeah. No, there was that scene, like, right after, you know, like, doll's eye opens, Kathy's hand comes down off of her yep. face, she's no longer scarred. She's like, Daddy. And then it shows a shot from the outside of the uh, the house, and I was like, right there, I'm like, this is, they're going to fucking just put the end up, and this, that's going to be it. But no, thank God, they came back to give close-ups on uh, Kathy, Mom, and Dad, thank all God. smiling at yeah. each other. Thank then God. Then credits. Oh, they should have just ended it. <laughs> Should have just been like, that's it. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at the balls on this movie. Yeah. I think I would have uh, respected it a little more. I think yeah. I would have respected it. <laughs> that because that's that's intention. Yeah. And there's intent in that yeah. ending. Where and the confidence. film there going, fuck yeah. you. Yeah, it's confidence. This <laughs> shot, too, yeah. shot of the outside of the house, cut to black. Instead, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like, we don't know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. That's what this movie is. We got to come back and send them off. It's got to be a happy ending. <laughs> happy. No one's wow. happy. Wow. What are you talking about? They're no smiling. One's happy. No one's happy. <laughs> the curse is lifted. Uh huh. Yep. They're all going to live. They're just for responsible for the murders of a couple yeah. people and a dog. Yeah, that's that, fine. You know. uh, and they've been dealt with. They were under the influence <laughs> of a jury. No jury in the world would convict them. I mean, that's true. Paul probably was shit faced when he died, so, you awesome. know. Um, <laughs> yeah, he fell into something. <laughs> he was he drunk and fell. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't even mention the fact that the cops came when yeah. the housekeeper died and there was actual, like, like specific interaction with the cops that was oh, yeah. do you remember I thought scene? it was supposed to like lead to something yeah do you remember the scene where the that's cop- the whole movie I know I thought it was supposed to lead to something I know. there's a cop who well he wears a coat that is it's the cop coat right the it's basically coats. the bird dog coat or whatever they the, call, trench, the coat? trench coat yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the, coat. the one that talks to the dog Yes. He tries to <laughs> Caesar Milan the dog. Yeah. Yes. He tries to interrogate the dog. Yeah. After so girl, you've t- been barking a lot? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, you see something? Because it was a, a joke. Holly's Timmy's like, what's he going to do? Interrogate the dog? And sure enough, he goes on. <laughs> and then he's like, then to a patrol officer, he's like, hey, you, come here. And I'm like, what the f- Is he looking for a translator? What What's happening here? You know here? what this dog's saying? Yeah. <laughs> and as the guy comes closer, the dog starts barking. This is a clue. Right? That whoever I killed guess. Mabel didn't make the dog bark or something. And he's like, hmm, mm-hmm. And you can see the light bulb going off in his head. And then never yeah. came back. No. Then he's out of the movie. That's it. Never came he back. He literally walked out of this movie. <laughs> yeah. Walked out of our lives forever. This should be a cop car stationed outside of this house. Yeah. yeah. Just to watch all the weird shit that is going to happen. For the amount of uh, calls that they're likely to get. Yeah. Or at least. A, well, like, you imagine the people call a, the number of neighbors calling alone just because of the dog barking constantly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let alone all the murders that are happening. Mm. But unless it's that, unless the only neighbor is that fucking mom, and she's like, I don't want anything to do with these people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She stabbed my kid in the eye. It's I'm very possible after that, that she took her kids and moved out. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Or moved in the new condo they were building. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Very up high. Which, so I'm, which I'm convinced is where he actually worked. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. across the street. Yeah. right across the street. Right across the street. construction. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 very true. And he's like, anything to keep me out of that damn house. Just yeah. keep Jesus, me across the street here. Yeah. My possessed daughter. Kept like, yeah. every 18 yeah. hours, they show him just waving from the, from the <laughs> lot. Yeah. I did appreciate that there was a moment, because, I mean, the movie does take place completely, you know, in and around this country house. Yeah. Or yeah and there's one right. shot of the city in the They do. Yeah. They go it. to the city, and there's a nice little pan around, and then uh, it's Agnes, right? Yeah. Yeah. A payphone, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which was another confusing scene where she's, uh, prior to meeting Kathy in the attic of the house, she's calling Vivian, yeah. who's been committed to the hospital. And we're like, well, she's calling the hospital. 
So yeah. she's going and she's like, oh, I'll be right over. And then she goes to the house and we're like, what, what, is this the house? Is this the yeah. hospital? Or what? Because the- really, she didn't know that she was in the hospital. Apparently, Apparently not. not. Yeah. But, I have I mean, information for you. I'm the medium. You remember me that threw a crazy fit in your <laughs> living room? You're like, yeah, I remember you. Why are you calling me, crazy lady? Uh-huh. I remember your paranormal outburst. Yeah, yeah thanks. We never got the information that she came up with, no. which I assume was the like, here's what's going on right. scene of the movie. Yeah. Your daughter's being possessed by this doll, see? Mm-hmm. Which is possessed is she a by these gangster. Is that what's going on? Well, Everyone the, else the is. Gangster, or the, the, the grandfather could have been. Uh, sorry, he sir. had the mustache he for did. it. Yeah. The pinstripe <laughs> suit. I'm going to blow you away, see? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is talk fun. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's, a, it's, a, it's something else. Well, Ooh. should we uh, go around the room and find out? Because, like, I mean, definitely. You've been listening to this. If this is your first time with us, listener, uh, something magical is going to happen here. Mm. Or it could. If this is your first time, you may not know what we're talking about. Well, we go around the room and uh, review the Maybe our whole podcast is just foreshadowing leading to nothing. It could be. Maybe <laughs> and that's tonight. And this is tonight's... where it ends. That's what we should <laughs> do. We should fuck with it and no wrap up. No just cut it off right here. <laughs> this is the most accurate representation of this movie. That would be the most meta podcast get. ever. Lead do up it. to nothing. Do it. No reviews. All right. And then cut, the basement is out. going dark. <laughs> We're just kidding. <laughs> God damn it. We have to review this movie? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. All right. You so we'll brought go this. <laughs> what? I didn't see it. I don't know. I mean, well, what? we appreciate yeah. you for sticking around this one. <laughs> yes, very much so. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to go around the room. We're going to do uh, our final wrap-ups, uh, but we don't know like how this is going to shake out. We don't know it's who's going to like it and who's going to hate it. We're often surprised at this part. Crazy things have happened before. But first, we may go to our mailman, uh, Igor, but not tonight, because no one wrote in about uh, the green slime. Uh, or Kathy's Curse. Or Kathy's I Curse. I don't think Igor. anybody's seen either. Uh, yeah. Bobette said that she had not seen it, but she was uh, watching it. And I said, if you're like watching it tonight... Like right in before we yeah. Yeah. didn't yeah. hold on. Let's check Aww, uh, check Igor. the Facebooks. Check. And I was talking to Brian Collins earlier about his thoughts on uh, the movie and whatnot. But you heard those earlier, so mm-hmm. that's the only interaction. Hey, we've he, had on he this. still wants to Skype in. We can do it like a bonus episode with the with yeah. Him. We'll, That'd be we'll great. So please, yeah, because I want because if yeah. he knows more, yeah, I would love if to he know can more. enlighten us by all means. Oh, that would be great. It might be one of those passion projects where he's gone. and Done the uh, the research and the well, digging, found out. I'm sure he did has. all the interviews. Okay, clearly, I'm sure he's yeah. on that Blu-ray. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Michaela was saying, "Poor Igor, uh, we're gonna have to take him out back and beat him tonight because he failed to <laughs> bring Jesus. the, uh, the all, mail." All Igors are bitches. Uh, and this is <laughs> your all fault, Igors, listener. Just keep whipping. All Igors are bitches. Yeah. <laughs> psh, psh. Uh, Colin. Yes, Sean. What did you think of 1977's Kathy's Curse? I am a big fan. Of not this movie? Of obscure weirdo <laughs> movies. I mean, like, I seek them out, and uh, sometimes I enjoy them, sometimes I don't. But often, I think, you know, when you when you troll uh, the, uh, you know, the waters, are you trolling waters? We're trolling the waters? We're trolling the trolling, waters trolling, of, uh, trolling. you know. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the waters. Cinematic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. these, We've waded in. We're, we're there. Yeah. Okay. Waist deep in the waters right now. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, squishy. You're, you're we- panning for gold, right? And every <laughs> once in a while you get like a little, a nugget. You're hoping to catch the, you know, you're never going to find like an uh, the movie that's really, well, sometimes you do, but so, oh, yeah. most times you don't feel find a movie that's awesome. Awesome. Among the squishiness, there's often the nuggets. <laughs> Something. Oh, God. That's just so horrible. <laughs> the like cinematic nugget. sewer. Should we go there? We're, uh, we're diving right. deep. We're getting this, very dirty. Just... Into, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> is it a shit show? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> we found this in a weird place. <laughs> yeah. I, I try to find like things that are, you know, that are redeemable about movies, like stuff that you're like, well, you know, I mean, it was not very well put together here. It had a deficiency here, but at least they kind of nailed this and this was pretty cool or or that was kind of odd the only thing that kathy's curse has going for it is that it is uh crazy and i mean that like the people are crazy the movie's crazy the people who made the movie are crazy it's basically like they took a film script put it in a shredder threw all the pieces up in the air and then filmed whatever landed on the ground. Are you, th- I mean, I'm sorry to interrupt, but are you, it's kind of comparable to like how we're so endeared by the room. Everything about it is so horrible. There's no, 
like good parts about it, but it's still like endearing. Well, it's true, and this was made in earnest, like the room. Yeah. Like this is not oh, yeah. yes. meant to be bad. But Canadian in earnest. That, that might make it a little Canadian different. Canadian earnestness. <laughs> I guess I don't see what the filmmaker was trying to uh, communicate. I guess it's it's like I mean we're exactly. sitting here and and some of our conjecturing. I think we're borrowing yeah. from other horror films sure, that we've right? seen yeah, to I fill mean, in the gaps of like, of all course. right, this is the standard yeah. tropes that this movie avoids. By just not making a movie. Yeah, we're just like, we're going to have these scenes that don't go anywhere, and there's no rhyme or reason. I mean, at some point, I was sitting there going, like, I don't know if we're in the second act or the third act. I have no yeah, idea, because no there's structure. nothing no that's idea. going yeah. anywhere. It's just going to be these repeating scenes of, like, Kathy doing weird shit, people falling off of balconies, dad coming in going, like, I don't know what's going on, and mom going, oh, there's Nor some do I crazy care. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have eight ten hour days. <laughs> repeated ad nauseum, you know. So I thought it was fucking horrible. I mean, yeah. it's a really, really, really bad movie. Is it bad enough to be uh, fun? I don't know. I mean, we were having fun with it, but I think it was a self defense mechanism. <laughs> uh, it was a coping mechanism. Yeah, coping yeah, it was, mechanism. It was like. When your body's being shocked and you just kind of laugh because you don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Exactly. Or like the, or like yes. the kid who acts out because his parents are getting a divorce. Yes. <laughs> like that. Yes, yes. Like you're, that. You're right. Yeah. I think, yes. Our metaphor game is on point tonight. Right? Yeah. So I don't think uh, you want to be alone in a room with Kathy's curse. Nope. So, uh, yeah, I'd say uh, don't hard. don't want to be in a room alone with Kathy's curse. That's right. <laughs> you don't want to be her curse, her doll, nothing. Uh -huh. I mean, Paul seems I like, like he'd be fun to drink with, but you know, yeah, Paul's cool. Yeah, not if you're and an eight-year-old girl. And his great big yeah. bushy beard. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a hard pass on Kathy's curse. Oh, God. Hard Holly, what'd you think of oh, tonight's whew. epic masterpiece? Oh, it was a piece. I'll tell you that it was a piece. Um, it was a nugget. Oh, fish nugget, yes, man! Squishy fish nugget. I yeah, no, dude. Uh, um, Sean, <laughs> Sean, <laughs> who do you think? Who you do are? you think you are? What gives you the right? <laughs> Wait, what is it? You're giving me a present? Oh, oh it's a rock. <laughs> um, I oh, there was nothing good or redeeming about this movie at all. It was just a giant shit show. I mean, the transfer I, I, looked kind of nice. Compared to what it used to look like, yeah, that transfer was pristine. <laughs> but I mean, as far as like a Blu-ray, I was like, ugh. Uh, that's like going to somebody being like, oh, you're pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how, so pretty. How shrill the soundtrack was on this oh movie. Oh my god. Shrill soundtrack. Even it the, was painful. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And and the like there was moments that things were just so bright that shouldn't be bright. Yeah, blown so, out. Oh no, god. Like, there's no lighting in this movie. Like it was completely oh. blown out natural it light. Yeah. It was cameras. so bad. No, there is not one redeeming thing about this movie. Nothing good. I I agree. Our reaction to this was a complete coping mechanism. Uh, otherwise, it just would have been too hard, man. It would have been too much. I, yeah, this movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, tell us what you really felt. That's 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 how I feel, Michaela. <laughs> so, Sean, you've inspired me. Um, I would oh, like no, to. I would, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to uh, write my own uh, subtitles for this movie, where the stage direction before anybody talks say in Canadian <laughs> earnest. Because <laughs> I feel like if you watched it with that. Uh, Ernest stage Canadian, direction yeah. it might help <laughs> um, but this movie I think it's kind of like the less interesting version of the Winchester mansion you've got all these doors and stairways that lead to nowhere you know like everything you're like oh sweet I'm gonna run up these stairs oh nothing I'm gonna open this door nothing and that's how the pl plot and it's like the film plot. is telling you no run up the stairs there's something good up there yeah and then we just got to something else yeah uh, yeah no this movie is a hot mess and uh, it is shocking to know that it's not like a high school project you yeah. know like I've seen yeah. student films much more competently made than this and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so kids in school keep doing what you're doing you're already ahead of this guy so yeah. you know and maybe someday birth movies death will fall in love with your movie and write all about it and get it a blu-ray release so just keep on there you go uh yeah things hard... can happen man it only took uh. 41 years for this to get there yeah. it may take you forever and you may be dead this is what when but this is what happens when you make art uh. <laughs> oh sean. When, you make, sean when you make art sometimes it's never discovered until you're dead yeah. and i'm would sure would you would you consider this avant-garde <laughs> That's not my opinion. We don't have <laughs> we don't have the capacity to make such we statement. We couldn't. Ali. We couldn't possibly we couldn't know possibly that. Know. Yeah. We um, couldn't. 
I don't know, this movie just like it like the room is an interesting comparison. I'm trying to figure out what the difference is between the room and this movie and I'm not really coming up with much. I guess I know like, because it has that that similarity of like how bad it is. Right. But there's still something I guess you could say the room follows through on the things that sets up and the room yes, does have a three act structure and it a does. climax that pays off. So like it does have the basic narrative tools that this movie doesn't. So I guess there's your difference. Yeah, uh, yeah I agree with Colin. Hard pass on this movie. Mm-hmm. Sean, <laughs> what did you think of Kathy's Curse? Oh my god, Kathy's Curse. Um, I mean, I'm glad I finally got to see it but that's the only thing I'm glad about as far as this movie is concerned. Uh, it's, a, it's a damn mess. Um, like you said, Colin, everybody's crazy in this movie. I don't know what's, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what their purpose was, what they were trying to do. I, I, I don't know. I don't, what, what did they think they had a, a great movie in this? I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how this can, I, it, it really is amazing that this movie can go from, uh, a, a 50 pack horror movie DVD thing you'd find in Walmart somewhere to it being championed into a Blu-ray release, uh, by a company. Who specializes in doing stuff like that? So unbelievable! It's, it's unbelievable, and we still can't get sidekicks. Can't? Nope. Can't get sidekicks. But this here, Severin, are you out there? Sidekicks. sidekicks. I mean, but I, I want it. I'm gonna look into. I wonder if this did well in that Blu-ray release. If there are enough people out there who are just like, yeah. Well, it's after the the uh, just blind buy market of you know mm. sell through D, uh, DVDs. Yeah. I mean, that era is over. Mm. Now, you know, I suppose it's, they're making their money off Amazon Prime. Sure. Off of, you know, people like us who watch it. People That's like me. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, guys. They probably, they probably just saw like a spike in, you know, yeah. viewership right oh, now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Because, I mean, <laughs> damn I think, it. But I think that's the thing. Like, people like us who have similar interests to uh, and follow like people like Brian Collins, like, if he says something about this movie and keeps saying something about this movie, eventually they're going to be like, well, i, I got to see what this movie's about. And I think that's what people who put the Blu-rays out, like, they're betting on. It's just like if one person says enough about this, other people will watch it. And mm-hmm. I guess that's what's happening. Um, and I've seen that a lot, but I want to talk to these people on how they feel after they've watched it. Because I'm going to have to pass on Kathy's Curse. Mm-hmm. It's fucking weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But it's just... There's a little lull in the middle of that movie, and it's just, it's just not. I can't watch that again. I I can't. I don't know if I can recommend it to you to watch it. It's it's fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Do you remember? Oh. Do you remember Spookies? Yeah, yeah. I remember Spookies. Oh yeah. But yeah. wasn't Spookies like another one of those where it was like it just all over the? There was like at least decent uh, makeup effects. Or decent something makeup. Plus, it also had like more of an ensemble of characters wandering around a fucking place yeah, where you just like go, like it was. What? Because they cut like two movies together. They or did, something but the, wasn't one. there basement poop monsters in that thing? <laughs> yes, the squeaky, the, the squeaky, monsters. yeah, the farting yeah. monsters. Yeah, yeah. It, it had some more elements to it that would draw you to it. And had, you got were you guys here for Spookies? No, that was a weird fucking movie. At all. But I just like the, that. I just like that. That's your like go to. But didn't it have the the farty monster? I mean, well, it, it had that. It had that. But it also has another movie attached to it, which is really, which is you know off in a different room. But it had something the odd. The factor to that movie was a little higher on the scale. Plus, the acting in that movie is fucking craziness. Like, the caricatures that are yeah. wandering around a house in that movie is fucking holy shit. Everybody's 30, but they're playing. Oh my god, it's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Dude, a muscle shirt. And, oh, there's. <laughs> There's, hey, I'm 18 years old. And yeah, I just hey, yo, whoa, yeah. hey, look at these muscles. <laughs> it's, yeah. But then movies like this, I, there's just, I don't know, it's not as batshit as it, it should be more batshit for me to recommend it. So unfortunately, mm-hmm. I can't recommend it. It's a weird fucking movie, but yeah. I, don't know, I don't think I can quite recommend it to you people out there. Uh, uh, watch at your own risk. That's four. Count them four. Hard passes. Nothing yeah. I can do. <laughs> Hard passes. Nothing I can do. It. Does this go on the list of uh, what's one of the worst movies you've ever? You got to file this one. Worst you know what? Ever. This one's not even as bad as some of the other ones. No, yeah. there's some. There's but some it's shit just shit where I'm just unhappy that I watched. There, yeah, yeah I, this, this does not. Fit this on movie that list. didn't make this me angry. Fine. This yeah. didn't no, make me angry. I'm not angry at this movie. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's where it stands. It's uh, Kathy's curse. There Next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by. I think it's Holly. Yep. <laughs> um, we need a good chaser after this. Ooh. I think the only person that can do that is Nick Cage. So we're going to oh, watch no. The Wicker Man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Not the bees. Oh, not, not the, the bees. bees. <laughs> ah, guys. 
All right. Oh, well, join no. us on this adventure of cinematic <laughs> schlock next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs> <laughs>